Hello my Geminis, welcome to my channel. This is Mary at Mystic Wisdom Tarot. So thank you so much for being with me. I know you have many choices. We are blessing the cards, calling in all the collective spirit guides of Gemini to be with us I love the Palo Santo. Oh my God, it smells so good, you guys. That's why sometimes I have to get new decks because I get too much smoke and essential oils on them. So Happy New Year to all of you, my beautiful friends. Thank you so much. Let's see what's going on for Gemini. Well, astrologically, today is the full moon in Cancer Lunar Eclipse. And I just looked outside the sky in California is pink with that full moon rising. I think of pink as healing of the heart, the mother, cancer. So it's a great time. Call your mom or forgive her. For she did not know what she did. If you have any resentment, let it go. We all have our path. Also, I feel this month for you, I do love to do love readings. Um, I think for you, it's really all about finances. Uh, you may be coming into some inheritance. Um, usually, you guys are very varied in your interests, but right now it's about finances and maybe recouping some lost money from somebody. It's a great time to ask them for that back. <laughs> of course, Four of Pentacles, all about the money, saving for the future, and getting back what is yours, okay? So go after that. You guys are so generous, but sometimes, you know, you need to save for your future. Mm hmm What's coming in for my beautiful Gemini's in love and life path? What are the messages? Holy Spirit, Archangel Michael. We did get the Divine Director as our, um, sorry, I didn't show that to you, as our Keepers of the Light. And basically, it's almost as if intervention and purpose is happening. Divine intervention is occurring now that you are, you're being guided. Happiness is your purpose. Happiness is your purpose. And when we can choose love or fear, what are, what are you choosing? You know, you have these new opportunities coming ahead for you. Are you going to choose it because of fear that... You know, oh, I better grab that or somebody else will. Or are you doing it out of love because it's something you're passionate about? So those are some questions you should ask yourself. <clears throat> also, when Venus leaves Aquarius and moves into Pisces January 15th through February 7th, I think you're going to get a lot of recognition from the VIPs, career accolades, so money, 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 guys. What's the, what's going on with love? <laughs> Look at that. People are going to be fighting over this position. So I don't think you have to worry. I would stand back and let them do what they need to do because it's coming for, for you. I don't think there's going to be a lot of competition for you in that regard. You may think so because that's what you're focused on right now is money and career advancement. I mean, this is a general collective, so, but let's see what's going on for Gemini. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Spirit Guides. Thank you for this reading. I have one grandson who's three, who's a Gemini boy. It takes a lot to entertain him. These all wanted to come out, so I'm gonna let him come. Interesting, interesting. I think you're moving forward, Eight of Cups, away from the past into something new. That's the way it always is. But no worries, because what you're moving into is going, there's going to be a lot of change, a lot of movement. We have two Knights here, Knight of Cups and the Knight of Swords. A lot of change, a lot of movement, a lot of energy in this new direction you're going. Could be love and something online, maybe an online business, I'm thinking. But you are stepping out of your old belief systems, the Hierophant. 
Or what I'm being told to say is you're thinking about going back to school, university, or you're thinking about teaching or getting a teaching degree. Uh, it could be in the metaphysical uh, realm as well because I have the star, the healing card. So this is your north node. You may want to check that out. I'm not an astrologer, but what is your north node? What is your North Star? I feel something also about study, travel, communication. That new moon, January 24th, can bring some of that information to you. So put that on the calendar. New moon, travel, study. Mm -hmm. So you're moving on to this new adventure in learning. What you guys love to do, you love to explore so many different subjects. I think you're ready to move into some other subject for healing. Healing modalities. Whatever that is, from aromatherapy to brain surgery. You guys are talented and varied in what you might want to do. What 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 makes your heart sing with joy? There's a King of Cups. Get some fatherly advice, maybe. Oh, what else? Ooh, uh, yeah, yeah. Or I, I just feel like you're going to be inheriting some money. There's money coming to you. Talk to your father or there is a king of cups that is offering you love and affection who has money and abundance that can offer you that happy home, that happy family. Holy Spirit, give us the cards for Gemini. Thank you, thank you, thank you for January 2020. The sun is yours. <gasps> Happiest card in the deck. And remember what the divine director said. Happiness is your purpose. Because when you are in that happy state, everything works out. You know, I got the moon card in my last reading. And I was trying to tell people that, look, we can only see so far ahead. But I think you're planning ahead hmm. without coming out with the four of pentacles first yeah you're staying in balance you're balancing out your finances your balance that's really key for you coming after the ten of pentacles you're balancing out your finances and um it's going to be successful you're going to get some good advice mm. long distance travel is in your future so you may be planning a trip. Yeah, look at that. Where are you going? Where? Do, what is your dream place that you want to go? Maybe you're doing some foreign studying. Maybe you're going to go to Florence and learn Italian or learn how to cook or um, a lot of wonderful universities there. I don't know why I was saying that, but it's true. You'll never regret that adventure. Yeah, you're at a crossroads. So I love the three of wands and then the, the two of wands because you are looking out and waiting for your ship to come in. But I see that as creative visualization with that white seagull up there. Your spirit guides are giving you hints and clues and signs along the way. That's what Tarot does. It gives us signposts. It gives us guidance. It helps us see outside of ourselves and give us a, a, a new way of looking at things, new perspective. You're at the fork of the road here on a new direction you may want to go in. Spirit guides, clarify the three of wands and the two of wands. Yeah, you're moving in. You're moving on. You could be moving. You're traveling for sure. You won't regret going to Italy. Oh my God. Even if you could study in Venice, I know with the floods and things like that, but there's parts of Venice where the university is that I don't think it floods that much over there. Holy Spirit. Yeah. Temperance. I haven't seen the temperance card for a long time. Be the alchemist. Create something new. You could be writing, creating a TV series, something with communication where you are you're just trying to blend all these new ideas together to come up with something um, unique. 
You know, I always say there's really nothing new under the sun. It's just how you put it together. You know, I was a chef and um, I used to use a lot of old recipes, but then I throw in my own twist, my own tweak to make it even better. I don't know if you ever see the, those commercials for Masterclass for chefs and uh, there's that one Italian chef. They say, we, we, we look at the past not with nostalgia, but with crit critical eye so that we can create something better for us now. Yeah, we respect the past, but hey, it's over. We can't go back. We can just make it better for our future by learning those lessons from our ancestors and teachers and guides. And I feel that you're also stepping into hmm, teaching. Page of Swords. Somebody's got a crush on you or they're checking you out online. Are you doing some online dating now? I'm gonna grab another deck. Oh, let me just do one more. Tell me, who is this Page of Swords that's got an eye on you? Look at that, I got the Lovers and the Five of Pentacles. You're coming out of the cold and into love. So do not miss that opportunity. There is someone out there. We also have the Knight of Cups there, so love is coming. Financially, you're definitely coming out of the cold. <laughs> I know that, I just know that. So look online. You also could be researching this inheritance or some money online. Tell me about this lovers, though. Because when I see these two knights underneath that and the star and the Hierophant, the sun card, there could be somebody getting pregnant. Mm-hmm. Because you know a lot of times the sun card is the little baby on the horse. Tell me more about the lovers and the sun. Ooh, the high priestess and the six of cups. Wow, very spiritual union coming up. Yeah, very nostalgic. Someone from your past, someone from your childhood, somebody you're gonna meet at a reunion. But use your intuition because People do change. You may have sort of a nostalgic idealism of them, idealistic uh, vision of who they are, but you are the queen, uh, I'm sorry, the high priestess. And so you're, follow your intuition. And there's that baby I've never noticed before. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or you could be having a baby with your soulmate. Tell us more about the Six of Cups and the High Priestess and the Lovers. What is coming forward for Gemini? Thank you, Holy Spirit. What are the messages for Gemini? Lovers is Gemini too. Partnership. Any other messages to clarify the Lovers? And I'm still doing private readings regarding you and your love life. Just email me mysticwisdomtarot at gmail. Information below. Oh, we got a few cards here. Fun. All right. And then I'm going to get a romance angel. Ah, the Hierophant again. <sighs> Interesting. Um, not sure if I like that Hierophant. <laughs> but I feel like you are looking at your past beliefs and maybe wanting to change them here with the moon. I don't think you're resonating with some past beliefs that you had and you may want to change them because we also have the Knight of Swords again and the Five of Cups. You definitely are going to receive some money from somebody who owes you money. You're like, I see this one is like, yeah, there's been some spilled milk, but you're still holding two cups. You may not get everything you're expecting from this person. And money-wise, take what you can get right now. Take what you can get right now. Call them up and say, hey, remember I loaned you that $1,000 so that you could, uh, whatever, fix your car. I really need that back. I've got some plans. They don't need to know. 
So I was wondering if you could cut me a check. Don't say, can you, will you? Just say, I need you to cut me a check. Or bring over the cash. They go, oh, look, I only have 500. I don't have the whole thing. Great, give me the 500 in cash and post a check for next month for 500. You know, try to be diplomatic, but um, hey, you did them a favor. You were kind enough and generous. Now it's time you get your money back. So yeah, you may lose a little bit, but you're gonna get what you need. Ah, unrequited love. <gasps> Oh no, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. What relationship? Looks like a lot of chemistry to me. So the five of pentacles there could mean somebody from your past that you need to leave and move away from that isn't offering you enough passion. Because you guys, I don't care how hard you're gonna work at your relationship. I was a matchmaker. I have a grown daughter who's gone through stuff and friends and people. And if there is no passion, you're hanging around for no reason. Um, if you're just hanging around because they, hate, they help pay half the mortgage or half the rent, not a good reason. Life is short. I remember when I got my divorce and my ex-husband was Iranian, and we had a you know beautiful home and all that. I left without anything. And when he came up to see my apartment in Mill Valley, he's like, how can you live like this with this garage sale furniture? It was kind of antiques. I like that. He was more modern. It was the 80s, chrome and glass. And I said, you know how I can live like this? It's mine. And I was happy. So what brings you peace in your heart? It is safe for you to love, open your heart, and give and receive the highest energy of all. It is time for you to move into that true love, that passionate love. Don't settle for less. And don't go back to the one that didn't fulfill you just because you think you need to. Holy Spirit, Archangel Michael, any other romance angel cards for the... honeymoon there's venice remember i saying go to italy oh my god you guys go before it sinks it's not sinking it's flooding but there's a lot of corruption in the company when it uh, in the company in the country when it comes to getting that settled they need to really work on this because venice is just spectacular i think it gets better and better every time i go i just like to stay in um Neighborhoods where the people live, like Santa Maria Novella. Beautiful, beautiful neighborhood. The kids running around laughing. I love that. So our, aunt, our um, mermaid oracle cards are guide, a guide, mentor, a trustworthy ally. Somebody that has your back that can, that can give you advice. Remember I was talking about that king? You know, King of Cups could be a father figure that can help give you advice on this next journey that you're going on in your life. Back to school, maybe they can help support you in going. Divination, prophecy, fate, destiny, future, fortune. That is you all the way. Future and your fortune is coming. Take time by yourself to really think about what you want to come out of this next 2020. You're gonna have clearer vision. You have your angels and guides at your back. You have advice, money is coming in. No worries there. And it is safe for you to love my divine souls. Many blessings and lots of love to you. I always send you remote healing. Make it real by liking and subscribing. Thank you, my dear ones. Ciao, Bella.